Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Benjamin Phillip from the Department of Entomology in the College of Food, Agriculture, and Environmental Sciences at The Ohio State University. I'm here today discussing bed bugs. Bed bug infestations can be extremely difficult to manage, and the costs associated with their treatment can be high. This short video will provide you with a list of five things that you can do that are relatively inexpensive or free, but will increase the likelihood that the treatment by a pest management professional will be successful. Please keep in mind that this list discusses some of the tools that we have in our tool bag to deal with bed bugs and that the list is in no particular order. Most importantly, please note that these are suggestions to help reduce bed bug numbers, but should not be used in lieu of getting assistance from a pest management professional. A vacuum cleaner is a very effective way of physically removing large numbers of bed bugs. If done methodically before another treatment is performed, there is a much higher chance of success for the follow-up treatment. The link below is to a video that details the steps to retrofit a vacuum so that the bed bugs can be sucked into the vacuum without making it into the canister or bag. This ensures that bed bugs do not remain inside the vacuum, thereby potentially distributing them elsewhere in the home. Another valuable resource at our disposal is a bed bug mattress cover. These tight fitting sealed covers will ensure that any bed bugs that are present on the mattress or box springs are contained within. As long as the cover is intact, this prevents bed bugs from feeding on unsuspecting sleepers and the bed bugs will eventually die. Additionally, the smooth seams of the cover make future inspections easier as there are fewer places for bed bugs to hide. Studies have shown that bed bugs are attracted to odors given off by humans. When there are piles of clothing or collections of materials in a room, there become many more attractive hiding spots for bed bugs. While clutter is not the cause of a bed bug infestation, it can be a challenge to overcome when treating. Therefore, it's recommended that piles are eliminated and clothing is properly laundered and dried. Tight fitting plastic tubs can be helpful in preventing bed bug access to materials in a room. Heat is a very effective method of treating for bed bugs when used properly. Luckily, many have access to a clothes dryer and the high heat setting on most household dryers can reach the upper thermal limit for bed bugs. High heat in a loosely packed dryer will allow for airflow and will kill all life stages. This is a very efficient and economical way of killing bed bugs and can be utilized to reduce infestations. When the material, including clothing, linens, or curtains, is dry, it's imperative to finish any other treatments before reintroducing these materials back into a room. And finally, cold can be used as an effective method of control, especially for items that are not treatable with heat. A freezer maintained at zero degrees Fahrenheit can kill all life stages of bed bugs, including their eggs, in less than four days. This is a very economical, passive, and quick way to treat oddly shaped materials or a small number of household goods. As a reminder with cold and heat, while effective when the treatment is occurring, there is no residual protection. Therefore, the treated materials must be separated from all untreated materials to avoid cross contamination. While none of these tips will take the place of expert treatments made by pest management professionals, these all have the ability to significantly reduce bed bug populations so that those treatments have a higher likelihood of success. If you have any questions about these tips, feel free to reach out to bedbugs at osu.edu for more information.